All right, so we're looking at the year six number operations exam and how you can get 100% on these questions. All right, so number one. What is the sum of 7,062 and 11,099? Well, the sum means addition. So we're going to set up an addition sum. And remember, place value is important. So that's 11,099. And you always want to do a line underneath to differentiate between the question and where you're answering. All right. 2 plus 9 is 11. Carry the 1. 9 plus 6 is 15. Plus the 1 is 16. 0, 0, 1. 7, 1 is 8, and 1. Now, sometimes these ones can get mixed up in with your answer, so it's always best to write out the answer as well. 18,161. Number two, what's the difference? Now, difference means subtract. So once again, 784 minus 384. Now, this one's fairly straightforward because we can go 0, 0, 4, so our answer is 400. Number three, What's the product? Now the product means multiply. Now there's a trick here, because it's 300, I'm actually gonna do 71 times by three. One times three is three, seven times three is 21 to get 213. And because timesing it by an extra 100, I'm adding on the extra 100, so my answer must be 21,300. I'll put the two zeros back again. Number four, what is 5,684 divided by seven? So how many times does 7 go into 5,684? Right, 7 can't go into 5, so we're looking at two numbers. 7 times 8 is 56, no remainder. 7 can go into 8 once, with one remainder, and 7 can go into 14 twice. Let's not hide our answer. So it goes in 812 times. Number 5. Write out the first five multiples of six. On well, the first multiple of six, one times six is six. So then it's going to be six, 12, 18, 24, 30. One, two, three, four, first five multiples of six. Write out all the factors of 24. Now, a few ways you can do this. Um, I actually prefer to do it as a table like this so I don't miss anything. So one, all the laws go into it, one times 24. Two, that'd be two times 12. Three, That'd be 3 times 8, 4, be 4 times 6, 5 dozen, and then I'll be back into 6, and then I'm going up this way. So there are 8 factors total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that's a good way that you don't miss any. What is the product of 712 and 18? Product means multiply, so we have to do long multiplication. No shortcuts here. 2 times 8 is 16. 1 times 8 is 8, plus the 1 is 9. 7 times 8 is 56. Now we're multiplying by our tens, so we add in our 0. 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. 7 times 1 is 7. And we add up going down, so I put the line in. 6, 9 plus 2 is 11. 6, 7, 8. And 5 plus 7 is 12. So our answer is 12,816. So really careful with place value, making sure they're all in nice, neat columns. Number eight, convert, let's sort of focus out, right, convert 13 over four into a mixed number. So how many times does four go into 13? It's three, three times four is 12, so there's one left over, three and a quarter. Write out the first nine square numbers. So one times one is your first square number, and then it's two times two, three times three, four times four, so 16, 25, six times six is 36, seven times seven is 49, eight times eight is 64, and nine times nine is 81. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What is the lowest common multiple? Now to do this, two really important to the question. First, we're gonna write out the multiples of six and the multiples of 15. So six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Now the multiples are 15. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90. Now we're going to look for the lowest one that's in both lists. So the lowest one in both lists is 30. All right, so the answer is 30. Number 11, what's the highest common factor? So what we want to do is let's write out the factors of 24. We did that. 
And now let's write out the factors of 40. Right, so that's 1 and 40. 2 and 20. 3 doesn't go into it. 4 and 10. 5 does. So that's 5 and 8. 6 doesn't. 7 doesn't. And then we're back on 8. Right, highest common. It's the biggest number in both lists. So no 40, no 24, no 10. 8. So our answer is 8 is the highest common factor. Number 12. Well, it's two thirds plus one quarter. Whenever you're doing a worded problem, it's best to write it out as a directed number sentence. All right? We can't add fractions if the denominators are the same. So we're timesing this one by four over four, and we're timesing this one by three over three. Four here because that's a four. This one by timesing by three because that's a three. So we end up with eight over twelve plus three over twelve, which is. 11 over 12. 13 is the same question, but we're subtracting. Now, really what we're doing is we're looking for the lowest common multiple of both of these numbers. Um, in this case, it would be 20. So to get that to 20, we're timesing this by 2 over 2 to get 6 over 20. To get this out of 20, we're timesing it by 5 over 5 to get 5 over 20. Your answer is 1 out of 20. Right, 14. What is 25% of 63.2? Few ways you could do this one. Now, 25% is the same as a quarter, so we could just divide this by four. You could also find 10%, which would be 6.32, then half that, then double it and add it up to find the 25%. I'm gonna pick the shortest way. I'm gonna divide it by four. Four goes into six once, carry the two. Four goes into 23 five times, carry to 3, and 4 times 8 is 32, so the answer is 15.8. You could half it and half it again as well, but there's our 25%. 15. Cans of beans cost $1.25. How much would 12 cans cost? So what it's actually asking you to do is $1.25 times 12. A few ways of doing this. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to times this by 4. I'm going to do a shortcut. 4 times that is $4, and 4 times that is $1. So 4 times $1.25 equals $5. So that's how much 4 cans would cost. 4 cans cost $5. Now 12 is 3 times it's more than that. So therefore 12 times $1.25 must be 3 times more than that, $15. Quite a quick way of doing it. If you weren't following that, you could even do your 1, 2, 5 times 12. 5 times 2 is 10, 2 times 2 is 4, 1 times 2 is 2. Now your 10s, 5 times 1 is 5, 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1. You add it up and you get uh, 0, have I made a mistake there? 5 times 2 is 10, ah, 2 times 2 is 4, carry the 1 is 5, there we go. So I double checked my answer to make sure I didn't make a mistake. Add in the two decimal places and you also get $15. So either way is acceptable. Right, some of the worded problems. 16. A dog scoop can pick up 260 grams of food. How many full scoops can you get from a 20 kilo bucket? So really, we're trying to see how many of these can go into this or that divided by that. A few different ways you could go about it. Uh, it's quite a difficult one, really. For, first of all, let's convert this into grams. So you get one kilogram is 1,000. So really, it's 20,000 over 260, which is the same as 20,000 divided by 260. Uh, if you worked it through as fractions, well, they simplify. And then if you halved that, you get well, half of 2,000 is 1,000 over 13. And you could see how many 13s go into 1,000. Requires you to know your uh, 13 times table. Well, 13 can't go into 10, so you need to know how many 13s go into 100. It can be a bit messy. I would just take the shortcut here and write my 13 times table. So just by adding on 13 either time, that's 78, that's 80, so that's going to be 91. So it goes in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times with 9 remainder, and it goes in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times there. So it would be 76, but that's quite a hard way of doing it. Alternatively, um, so you can see how many times does 260 go into 2,000? Or we looked in here, how many times does 13 go into 1,000? 
what you could do is even keep going up in your times tables that way a few different ways of doing this one uh, you could work out how much five lots of 260 add up to so that's going to be 300 plus 1000 so you get 1300 and then multiply that by five each time to work out until you get to your 20,000 that's also not a bad way you'd still get 76 17 uh, Dave the kangaroo of course he's called Dave uh, traveled across the school oval the school oval was 950 meters long he jumped 40% of the way in the first five minutes then 120 meters in the next five minutes what distance does he have left right so we need to find 40% 10% of 950 must be 95 meters so 40% 40% must be four times bigger than that. So 95 times by four, nine times four is 36, plus the two is 38. So it must be 380 meters. He then jumped 120. So 380 plus your 120, three, four is 500 meters. What distance does he have left? Well, if the oval's 950 meters long, he's jumped 500, he's got 450 meters left to go. Good on you, Dave. Number 18, all right, two schools are competing in a sport competition. School A has 2,160 students, school B has 3,000 students. Each school put forward a group to compete against each other. Fair enough. The groups must have the same amount of students and the group size must be the largest possible. Okay, now really this is asking for the highest common factor. Now you could work out the factors of each of these numbers, but they're quite large numbers. So there's a few different ways that you could be doing this. Um, one way of doing it is to sort of separate this into what numbers you would get to multiply to get 2160. Uh, you could half that to get 108 times two. That's 54 times two. Uh, 54 is nine times six. That's three times three. Two times three, and that's two times five. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, four twos, one, two, three threes, and a five. Oops, three threes and a five, and three thousand. Well, that could be three hundred times ten, which is two times five. That's thirty times ten, which is also two times five. That's six times five, which is two times three. So you've got two, 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 uh, one, three and 555 five, five. and then you can sort of match up which is the same for which so there's three twos one three and one five and then you can multiply that out which is eight times three times five eight times five is 40 40 times three is 120 quite a difficult method to do that one um, so i think probably the best trial and error method that you guys would do is actually work out what your factors are. So two, so you half that to get um, 1,080. Does three go into this? Six, it does indeed. So then you're gonna have to work out how many times three goes into this. And then you can start manipulating your factor trees. So what times what? Um, so three, let's do a quick maths up here. Two, one, six, zero, seven, two, oh, that's not too bad, 720. 4 goes into it and you can half that one to get 540 uh, 5 goes into it and you get 432 and you can keep going down for both lists until you find one quite a long question that one so these A grade questions usually best to leave towards the end either way the answer was 120 and that's how you get 100% on every single question